Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. Right now, listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily double uploads. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we got something truly special going on right now. We're going to talk about the best defensive badges on NBA 2K22 current and next gen. So if you're a current gen player or next gen player, don't worry, this video will apply to both, okay? Now, when you talk about defense, we all know that defense this year, unfortunately, has been completely nerfed. There's not really much defense in the game, but if you are able to utilize some of the defense abilities, it can be a game changer. I mean, one or two possessions that you're able to take back from the offensive team, that can go a long way, especially in the grand scheme of things, you think about it, in a game where, you know, most of the people are shooting threes, that means there's only seven possessions in a game to 21. So if you're able to get one stop or two stops, that is actually really, really huge. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. First, we're going to kind of focus more so on the guards. And if I feel like a badge I can work with centers, I'll bring that in. But right now, we're going to focus on the guards. Okay, so, <clears throat> so anyway, the first badge that you want to get, all right, now it, it, can, it, it applies maybe between the two right which one's the best to get but and the reason why i'm gonna say this is because it's between clamps and pick and um and pick dodger now clamps is good for iso pick dodge is good for when, when you're playing a team that guys pick and roll right but in the what i'm starting to see is that most people are going to be isoing a lot so if you're talking about the first badge you want to go ahead and start upgrading excuse me then you want to focus on clamps okay so clamps as you know defenders have access to quicker cutoff moves and are more successful when bumping or hit riding the film the ball handler and i i thought that maybe if you had like a defender that had more strength um it would make a difference it doesn't so you can have 25 strength or you know 70 strength on your defender it doesn't make much of a difference like i said unfortunately strength does not apply with this game other than maybe like a center that's paint matching okay um, so, um, but clamps is definitely the first tier badge that you want to get, um, which I would call like the S tier badge. And then the next S tier badge will again, obviously be pick Dodger because this is, these two badges are the most important. If you're playing in the stage or you're playing any type of comp type players or just anybody in general, there's nothing worse of not being able to stay in front of your defender. And if you don't have pick Dodger, regardless of how bad some of the animations they give you, because sometimes, you know, we all know about the dreaded. 360 spin that you get which <laughs> completely takes you out of position but again that is just one of the hall of fame animations you get but pick dodger is still important so please 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 don't listen to anybody that says hey you don't need pick dodger that is a lie you want to have pick dodger at all time these two badges are what i consider the first two badges that you need to start getting up because they're so important to the game okay now the next tier then I mean, when still we still talk about s tier badges okay s tier badges the next one that you want to get of course is going to be intimidator right intimidator again as you might not believe intimidator does work okay offensive players have less success shooting when contested by players with this badge also boosts the shot defense rating when tightly guarding the opponent so again you have to understand there's more offensive badges than there are defensive badges okay so you can have intimidator you can have the do smothered and guess what he shoots it over you because he has sniper hall of fame he has mismatch expert hall of fame he has blinders hall of fame he has um dead eye hall of fame you know he has stop and pop so they have so many badges that literally stack up like though you can literally get like five or six hall of fame badges that stack up so of course you're like man this badge don't work well guess what it does work all right and hopefully in 23 we'll be able to get some more badges or they can you know water down some of the playmaking badges i mean the offensive badges but intimidator still works and it's a must-have badge so again we're still talking s tier badge intimidator is an s tier badge that you want to get okay now once with these three you're cooking right with these three you're really really cooking and then the next badge 
that you want to get is going to be chase down now even though chase down is solid on bronze that's all you need to get it's still s tier bad I mean, like you need to have chase down on bronze if you don't have chase down on bronze you tripping because literally this is an animation badge and what i mean by animation badge is that this badge just on bronze will unlock an animation okay so if you don't have chase down you won't get a chase down block regardless of how close you are to the defender on a layup or a dunk attempt if you have chase down on bronze you'll get it now is there a benefit by going hall of fame chase down you bet your butt it is if you can get chase down to hall of fame ball means do that most on ball defenders you're better off going bronze and now here we are talking about if you're a center if you're a center you definitely want to get chased down hall of fame if you can get it okay or at least go but if you're a guard get it on bronze but it's still an s tier badge all right and again we're still in s tier yes most lockdowns if you if you're a true lockdown then you should at least have 24 badges right if not then you tripping all right if you don't have 24 you tripping you need at least have 24 all right um the next s tier badge is going to be interceptor you want to have interceptor yes they did nerf hall of fame automatic interceptor so usually i mean before the update if you had an interceptor in hall of fame you didn't even have to press square if they threw the ball to you you caught it automatically 2k took that automatic animation away and the people immediately said oh man the badge is dead it doesn't work no more it's not good that's not true <laughs> that's not true at all it is still an s tier badge it is still a badge you want to have especially if you're a center centers need to have interceptor and chase down by all means of course centers need to have intimidator also as an s tier badge so if you're a center and you're working your way up you want to get intimidator and again like i said at the end i'll talk about the badges for centers but i just want to throw that in there so interceptor is a must have okay so right now you're seeing what we're looking at these are the badges here the next badge that you want to get is going to be pickpocket right once again pickpocket was nerfed yes it was nerfed in um at for the second update it was nerfed and then they did a patch um like a little small patch not um under a big patch notes but um it was just like a, a quick fix that um mike wayne did and then they gave us a buff again on the pickpocket pickpocket is good you can't spam it like you would want to but you can still time it perfectly if you don't have hall of fame pickpocket you might as well just kiss a goodbye of somebody having a Hall of Fame Unpluckable and getting the steal. It's not going to happen. So you need to still have it. These right here are the S tier badges that I think that you want to have at all times. If you don't have these badges here as an on, guard, um, on ball defender, then you're missing out. So make sure you look here. These are the S tier badges and this is how they should look as a guard. Okay. <clears throat> now, when we're talking about that second tier um, of badges the the next one that is like dang near a, a tier that you need to have um is going to be ankle braces all right get ankle braces at least on go you see how i say you need to at least have 24 because this is how my stack will be right now if i was playing this is what i would be all right you want to have this as an on ball defender ankle braces there's nothing worse when someone's ice on you and they tight handle you to death if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about tight handles is going to help you out at least get that on gold if you can get a hall of fame that's great i have a lockdown on next gen man i got like 30 something i think it's almost 40 badges now because if you hit level 39 every season so i got so many badges on there and i have anchor braces hall of fame so you want to get this as high as you possibly can tight handles is definitely something that sucks when you are not able to get it get it on gold if you can get a hall of fame you can but this is s this, this is what i'll call like the next tier badges to get and then of course the ones that i will say next just to sprinkle it in would be re, um ball stripper and then it would be um menace okay so like a lot of people don't like a lot of people say oh you need menace da 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 while guarding and staying in front of opponent their attributes would drop if you if good defense is being played yes that's true but again offensive players have so many badges they're so over overpowered you ain't really doing much right so if i had to choose between having menace or getting freaking tight handle the whole time i'm going to get ankle braces if you understand what i'm saying so this is what it would be like i know some people love to get rebound chaser as for a lockdown and that is true that's good especially if you're playing twos you can get rebound chaser but for the most part if you're talking about in a competitive standpoint in stage or just anything like that you're not going to be nowhere near getting rebounds you're going to leave that job to the center because you can't leave your corner anyway so this is what we're rocking with now quickly i do want to go over the centers all right so like i said already we're s tier badges the first thing you want to do is get um um, the first thing for a center is you want to get rebound chaser all right and then you want to get intimidator then you want to get chase down then you want to get interceptor then you want to get pogo stick and then you want to get rim protector which is not on here because this is a guard point guard build 
but then you want to get rim protector right and then after you get rim protector if you are playing on if there's somebody that you have to set screens for um then you want to get brick wall which again i don't have brick wall on here because i did guard but you want to have brick wall and then you want to get box on bronze worm on bronze and then call it a day so i know i kind of went through with the centers part but most of the centers i mean they kind of know what you need to get man rebound chaser brick wall chase down intimidator interceptor pogo stick these are badges that you need to get at all times okay but anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces these are the best defensive and rebounding badges for nba 2k 22 current and next gen hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say I'll be back soon with the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out